Hi everyone, welcome on my channel. Today is the 38th episode of the Perfect Monday and we are going to do so another Christmas quick and easy salon designs for you. And this time we are going to put some gloves on into our nails. I hope you will really enjoy this tutorial. If you do, give me a like and subscribe to this channel. That's the pair of gloves which we are going to do and uh, we have done in previous tutorials how to do the socks uh, too much. I'll actually show you. So that's the socks which we have done in a previous video. You can uh, go and check this one out and now a matching pair of gloves with a tiny bit of the Christmas bubble. So I'll show you exactly a step by step how to do it. I have bathed my tip and now I'm going to apply some white gel polish 173 it's a really nice uh, consistency and you know, a nice color of the white so just apply it on the entire nail it can be on the natural nail so it can be on the nail enhancements I want to apply it kind of thick enough so it doesn't wrinkle but at the same time so I don't have to do two coats and then give it a cure and on top of that we will apply the sparkle um, gel polish which is 169 and it's a really nice one so once my tip is cured I'm going to apply that and in the meantime you can see I've got the mixing palette here and it's a pretty awesome stuff for uh, preparing the um, gels uh, or acrylic paints for painting I'm going to use for black the foil design gel because it's a really nice consistency black <laughs> and you can see it's one of my favorite ones but this is the last design I'm doing with this tab honestly I promise this is going to be now <laughs> And we also need some red. Uh, no, that's a sparkly one. We don't want this one. It's quite nice too. Actually, I might show you. So it has like a wee sparkle through it. And the red we're going to use is the 162 lipstick. So I'm just applying a tiny bit on the side of my mixing palette. That's my tip cure in this time and I can apply the glitter. I think it just makes it more interesting, especially for this time of the year. Lots of sparkle. The more the better. I love the sparkles. As you can probably tell. And then give it a cure. For the gold beads, I'm going to use the Iconic Style from Neo Neo. A really nice glitter. Again, tiny bit on the side. And if we're painting uh, anything which we want to get to look perfect, I suggest you apply the top coat if you have used a tiny bit of the glitter, uh, just so you've got a smoother surface. And I'm going to use the Soak of uh, Gel top coat just because the sock of one has an inhibition layer so then I don't have to bath and straight away I can go into painting the design give it a cure and then we will be able to do the glove so I show you again exactly what we are going to do two pairs of gloves we can do also some design inside but I thought like that's my spoiled uh, the gloves look and uh, I just went for a plan plain uh, faded uh, design like with a tiny bit of the shadow done with the black gel polish so the first step we will start with the splash of the color and the splash of the color has to be in the shape uh, of the glove so one is going to be higher and one is going to be lower I'm not bothered about doing it perfect really um, first I'm just indicating the shape so and then once I've got the shape indicated I can start making it the shape I really want so 
so they kind of more bulky on the bottom and then they go a little bit thinner right on the top I'm improving the shape of the thumb Now just a little bit more volume on the bottom part So that's my first glove done, the background of it And I can give it a cure. I want to cure the first one just because the second glove is going to be on top of the first glove. So after it is cured, we will do another glove, but just the splash of the color first, and then we will concentrate more on shaping and fading the black with the red. I need just a couple seconds more cure. I'm bad for under curing the products for a demonstration. I don't do it on the client's news because it has to be properly cured so it's last. But I tend to do it um, when doing the demonstrations. I know it's bad, but I'm not touching the product. So now the second glove. And the second glove, we want that to go on top of the first one. So here is going to be on top. We also need to paint those thumb. Tiny bit bigger on the bottom. So careful adding this volume, I don't want to overdo it. And uh, now I can give it a cure. You cannot ha see it much what is um, going on in here at this stage. But once we add those gold sparkle, you will be able to see it. I'm going to give it a cure. Just to freeze the second glove and then on the first one we will add this gloss, um, the, the glitter gold so you can know what is going on in there. So this glove is in this direction. And that's the top of it. I 
and then this glove top is here. So it's like one on top of another. Now you can see them both. I'm going to give it a cure again and then we will fade it with the black. So I'm preparing my brush. And first I will just do like a very thin outline and then I will fade it with the red. So the flash cured on. And now we are going to outline it. I'm not bothered too much like if I got somewhere a bit thicker because we will fade it nice. There we are, so that's the first one. Outline it. Tiny bit more on the top. Again, you have to do it in a two stages, like we have to cure the first glove before we can move into the next one. So now I'm going to go into my red and I'm going to fade this black. So I'm just pushing the black out with the red and this way we're creating a really nice fading. Same in here. And then on the thumb, I'm going to give it flash cure, just a couple seconds. To freeze the product and we need to make more shadow on the first glow which we have painted. So it does really look like the one which is on the top is on the top. <laughs> For nice shadowing, what else you could do? That's a quite nice technique as well. I'm using a tiny bit of the top coat. I'm just putting it in. And then my black mixed with the top coat. And what I'm going to do is on the places where I've got the top glove, I'm just outlining it. giving more shadow into the glove, which is on the bottom. Tiny bit of the red again. And here we want really dark. Because the glove which is on the top gives lots of shadow to it. Then let's move on into the bottom one. 
and we're going to do exactly the same what we on the top one and we're going to do exactly the same what we did on the bottom Go into the red. I'm cleaning my brush from the black. Don't want too much black on it because there is quite a lot of black already on it. And I'm just tidy up this black line, but also make it faded. Kind of more blended with the red. Trying to keep uh, get the tip away from the light flare so you can see it well. Uh, that's a good view. Okay, yep, there we are. I'm going to just prolong it a little bit the bottom part of this glove so again twist it this way you can see how nice those uh, black shadows looks yeah and that's me happy with the fading of the gloves I can give it a cure Again, I don't have to give it full cure because we still have to do those wee uh, black uh, gloves holders, <laughs> the lines on the top. <laughs> so I'm going into my black and this is very important, like how I prepare my brush, like I'm making it really nice and thin, nice and thin. And now let's add... Okay, and we have to do it, this glove to be attached here, and then this glove to be attached here and here. And they twist. And we want to also draw a wee bow. If you're not happy with something, just touch it up gently. This is the eyelash one, and I really love it for those kind of designs, like when I'm so fussy about the bits and pieces. And then once you're happy with the full look, you can give it a cure and then apply the top coat. So yeah, that's another tutorial done for you guys. And if you did enjoy it watching it and you have learned something, new, give me a like or share this video. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button because uh, there is lots of other uh, interesting videos coming up on this channel every Monday for a perfect Monday, quick and easy sound designs. And then uh, during the week, like um, Wednesdays or Saturdays, 
I'm also um, doing more of the structure and uh, more complicated designs. So that's this gloves top coated now and that's the full look done. I'm just going to cure it. So thanks for watching guys. Bye!